A paediatric consultation requires two basic skills, communication and examination. Communication involves the receiving of information in the history and the giving of information in terms of diagnosis, treatment and prognosis. This presentation is about the clinical examination of children, principally of children past the neonatal period. There is more than one way of doing anything and there are techniques other than those you will see which are just as effective. Make things as easy as possible for the child and for yourself. Don't start with a preconceived idea of the order in which you will examine different systems. Be an opportunist. That's good. Now the next a child is growing and developing. Heel, Your approach to the examination will be adjusted Slide to the child's the age shape, and you will be particularly slide, interested to find out how right. this child's and growth and development other. compare with the normal range for his or her age. That's beautiful. Take a look at this chart. It shows the head circumference from birth to 10 years. The most striking feature is the change of direction between ages one and two years. Head circumference reflects brain growth. This line shows brain weight. The brain of a six-month-old baby weighs half as much as an adult brain. This rapid expansion of the skull is only possible because the infant skull is made of five separate bones with gaps between. Where these open sutures meet, there are fontanelles. The posterior fontanelle normally closes soon after birth. A third fontanelle is sometimes present two or three centimeters in front of the posterior fontanelle and it takes several months to close. Its only importance is that it may be mistaken for an open posterior fontanelle. The anterior fontanelle is wide open at birth about two centimeters by four centimeters across and stays that size through the first six months of life. It can readily be palpated in this baby of eight months in the next six months, it gradually gets smaller. It's about fingertip size at a year. And by 18 months, the age of this toddler, it's usually closed. The head circumference to be measured is the occipitofrontal, which is the largest circumference you can find. It must be measured accurately but many babies don't like the feeling.